Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When we were trying to get this podcast off the ground, we had so many questions. How do we record an episode? Where do we find background music? How do we get our show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other places that people like to listen? And where do we find advertisers? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, distributing, and monetizing your podcast. And best of all, it's 100% free and 100% ridiculously easy to use. Anchor makes it simple to get up and running. You can upload and schedule your podcast ahead of time. It publishes to all the major podcast platforms. You can easily check your stats. I could go on and on, but instead, why don't you go and get started? Go to anchor.fm slash start to join the e-commerce minute and the diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. We can't wait to hear your podcast. It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute, episode 319. In today's episode, Jet.com relaunches targeting urban customers. Jet.com, the Walmart-owned e-commerce platform it acquired in 2016 for $3 billion, has relaunched. The site now has a stronger focus on the needs of city dwellers and millennials, the coveted demographic Walmart has failed to reach, and features a new three-hour grocery delivery service as a challenge to Amazon's Prime Now. The company says the site's updated catalog now features an assortment that's more relevant to city shoppers' interests across categories like grocery, home, fashion, beauty, and electronics. Editorial content will be a new focus alongside some merchandise. The newest feature on the site is localized imagery and messages tailored to the user according to where the shopper lives. The localized messages appear on the homepage and elsewhere and will feature product assortments for the user's particular region. The site will also transition from a daytime theme to a nighttime theme as the day progresses. For now, the localization is only available in New York, but the company says the Northeast is a priority and will roll out to cities like Boston and Philadelphia and then Washington, D.C. in the near future. Simon Belsham, president of Jet.com, told TechCrunch, Quote, the way consumers are inspired and shop for fashion is very different than food. When shopping for fashion, consumers want to shop the look, shop select styles, and see the styles on real people, so imagery and video are important, end quote. The site will also help shoppers to easily reorder items and will be personalized to shoppers' own preferences, like product recommendations and ordering reminders. The revamped Jet.com is also offering a three-hour same-day grocery delivery and next-day delivery options. Delivery will be provided through most of New York City via Parcel, the last mile delivery startup it acquired in 2017. New York City grocery customers will be able to select the three-hour delivery option for groceries and essentials, including offerings from local and small businesses like Bedford Cheese Shop, Pat LaFrieda Meats, Washer's Bakery, Big Gay Ice Cream, and Just Bagels. Jet.com working with small business mirrors how Amazon Prime now works with local shops, grocers, and restaurants. Jet.com will let customers leave instructions on where to leave the grocery items. The groceries will arrive in recyclable insulated bags that keep foods cold for up to three hours. Jet is also getting into voice shopping, allowing Jet.com iOS users to build lists using Siri. Despite the prioritization of urban shoppers, Jet.com will not close down its site to shoppers outside major metros. The site will remain available to all consumers nationwide. To celebrate the launch, Jet.com is unveiling its biggest marketing campaign on TV, radio, online, and social media beginning this week in New York, Boston, Philadelphia, and Washington, D.C. Jet.com. 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 We oh, keep wait, saying to put really a fork strange. in them and they keep coming back. <laughs> <laughs> a commercial is really strange. So I hope that was the commercial. I'm not sure. I saw it last night. I don't understand. It was really, really strange. Well, let's see. Jet.com commercial. <laughs> Are you looking up? Okay. Look up commercials. Uh, guys, if you want to go. We're live, we're live Googling. Live Googling. Exciting, exciting, exciting. You know what? <laughs> Google. <laughs> put in Jet.com commercial, and it took me to Jet.com and put me in the commercial section of Jet.com. <laughs> Jet. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, uh, well, this is kind of interesting in redesign. Um, a little bit of a hodgepodge going on. Um, I guess they're, they're definitely trying to hit up a urban market. Um, kind of got a target feel if you ask me. Yeah, a little bit. Um, we look at this stuff all day long, so it's always interesting. Yeah. To see <laughs> you know, the, the thing is, it's, it's as um, efficient as e-commerce has become, it's also kind of uh, democratized the design because 
uh, I think a lot of things start to look the same. As we focus more on the ease of use and navigation, I don't think people want to see the spinning balls anymore. They just want to get to their products. And, um, I, and this isn't a rant on UI or UX, but we definitely see this trend where it's just get me to the products faster and, and scrape away the fluff. I, I like the way this site looks. It's an interesting look. I like it. It's definitely different than the usual. Put, to put this in comparison, there's a lot of focus on Jet only because Walmart bought them for what was it, three billion with a B, whatever, uh, whatever. it was. But their traffic, I mean, when they're they're literally a drop in the bucket. Their their traffic is less than one percent of Amazon's and less than five percent of Walmart's in the twelve months through August, and that's hmm. a step from Hitwise. So they're not they're not. I don't think they're a top of mind brand. There was another crazy stat that Hitwise showed that Jet.com's traffic dropped fifty six percent in August, from August to August, from 2016 to 2017. In contrast, walmart.com's traffic jumped 37%. So we've seen all the improvements that Walmart has been doing with incorporating new brands and their sub brands and all things like that. Uh, Jet.com still seems to be the redheaded stepchild for Walmart. Um, I think this is a great effort by them, but I read from some of the pundits, uh, the retail pundits say like, you know, so what? Like what, what is compelling enough to make me go to jet.com over Amazon or anywhere else? Right. It's, it's going to be a big uphill, uphill battle for them. Well, it's the same story over and over for the guys who start jet.com, right? They started soap and diapers. They sold to Amazon. Do you see any of that around? No, but some, but the things that they did and the ideas that they came up with were folded into Amazon. And that was why it was more of an aqua hire than, Hey, we want your soap and diapers. Correct. Um, and- I think they're trying to do something with the jet.com, you know, prolonging it because of obviously Bonobos and all it's the same sort of in the same department, but I think it's going to be the, the, the it's going to become the same thing. What happened with um, diapers and, and soap. Yeah. I mean, th- there's one comment, uh, I think it was on retail wire. One of the guys said, I do not see jet unseating Amazon anytime in the near future. They should just fold the technology and staff into Walmart and call it a day. And I, you know, I agree. I would say, let's give it another year. We might see that. I do not wish any bad things on jet.com or the business or anybody who works there, but you know, we're not seeing this giant spike of traffic. They're, they're spending all this money on advertising. I'm sure they spent a ton of money on the rebrand refresh, uh, just a refresh, not a rebrand, but you know what I'm saying? They, they're spending a lot of money and I don't know if they're going to see that return. So I would bet next August when we're looking at when their annual, when their numbers come out, August, September, whatever it is, mm-hmm. um, we might be singing a different song. Who knows? I mean, a lot can happen in a year, but this is, you know, they're making significant investments into this and, and still, they're just still a drop in the bucket compared to Amazon or even their parent company, Walmart. So yeah, just replace the jet.com logo with Walmart and be good to go. <laughs> That's true. I mean, and you look at all the strides that Walmart has made in the grocery delivery. Why do they need a separate brand to do this? And I get, I get from a branding perspective, I'm going to get all Donnie Deutsch here, is that they are looking towards, they feel, let's micro-target the, the, the urban millennials, the deeper pocketbooks that cover the demographic that turns their nose up to Walmart. They're not the Walmart customer. They're not somebody that's going to go, you know what? I got to go grocery shop. Let me go to Walmart. Yeah. The hip millennial is going to go, oh, I'm going to order my stuff from Jet, man. You know, I'm going to get it from not realizing <laughs> it's the same company. Um, it's just yeah. really, a, a, it's, it's like a brand mask over top of it. Um, and I think that's one reason they're doing it. And I guess they're going to say, look, you know, if we could just target, target where the millennials are, New York, Philly, Boston, Washington, D.C., we don't care about the Midwest. Not that we don't care, but we know that they're not going to order from us. If we, if we can make enough money off of this Northeast niche, uh, maybe it'll make it worth our while. And I guess that remains to be seen. Correct. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, see how it goes. So keep an eye on this one. Another Jet.com story. Got anything else to add to this one, Bart? That is it, sir. All right. Full show notes are ecommerceminute.co. Uh, we'll just ask you, if you love the podcast, please subscribe to where you, wherever you get your podcasts and go to iTunes and leave us a rating. That would really help others discover this wonderful, wonderful podcast. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe, but leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion, 
or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.